I <laughs> have some more drug news. Oh, he said drugs. <laughs> Calm down, Republicans. Uh, <laughs> I told you last week, uh, I told you on Friday how uh, the um, the state of Oregon, I was going to say Ohio, if only, Republican state, no way. State of Oregon uh, went and decriminalized all drugs. Just that's it. Voters voted for it on the national ballots and they're like, cool, let's do it then, I guess. What else are we going to do, right? That's the Republicans, and they get rid of that. Well, uh, like a state Supreme Court did today. Okay. Well, uh, Democrats are seeking to uh, seek to uh, legalize marijuana, le- recreational weed, all over this nation, nationwide. Oh. <laughs> Breaking. Senate Majority Leader Chuck, Su- Chuck Schumer, Finance Committee Chair uh, Ron Wyden, and Senator Cory Booker uh, just announced a plan to release a uh, federal marijuana legalization uh, proposal in the early part of this year. Do it. Do it. Do it, boys. <laughs> okay, let's continue. All right, th- this is great. Um, so here's a st- uh, here's um. Quote from some of the senators: um, As states continue to le- uh, states continue to legalize marijuana, we must also enact uh, uh, enact measures that will lift up people who were unfairly uh, who were unfairly targeted in the war on drugs. Uh, the Senate will make consideration of these reforms a priority. Now, let me just start off the bat here and say. Uh, isn't the guy who caused a lot of the hurt and pain and suffering in the war on drugs, Joe Biden? Isn't he the guy that's in office right now? He's a drug warrior. So I love how they're they're not saying that. They're not like, and Joe Biden also did it too. Okay. Anyway, so here's the deal. A couple things. Number one, they might actually be able to get this bill because they might actually be able to get the votes done because here's a... Here's the thing, right? You have Rand Paul, who's like the the libertarian-esque free market capitalist type of guy, right? And he's thinking, well, hey, it makes it makes money, it makes it makes a lot of people not that it makes people happy, but who am I to tell people what to do, right? Now he doesn't agree with that with abortion, but there you hey, there you go. And he's also against war. So he might actually be on this. He, he, he might actually do it. And in the Senate, and in the, so you might not need Kamala, and you might not need Manchin, and you might not need uh, Kirsten Cinema. I mean, you should. You should. You should always try and get them. But if you can't, and you have a Republican willing to work with you, go, go, go. I mean, the, go, go ahead. Get it. Y- you need to. Because then Kamala can still break it. But either way, you might be able to get it. And you might be able to get some libertarians like uh, uh, Ron Paul in the house. His dad from Texas. I'm daddy from Texas. Yee-hoo. Doggies. Yee-haw. Yee-hoo. Doggies. All right. Uh, <laughs> the guy, that guy from Texas and a few others who might just go, fuck it. Let's do it. Shit. All right. Now, they might have to change a lot of the language, like who gets first dibs. And by the way, the people who would get first dibs under this bill, possibly like they did, in the, like they passed in the house. Before the presidential election, I think it would be, um, you know, you know, they they did it for people of color. You know, they it, that's who was mainly affected. But they might have to change it because uh, they want to tax it and regulate it. So they might have to change a lot of the taxes and regulations that they have on it now to fit more what the Republicans want. And see, I would try and get Kirsten Cinema and. Uh, uh, Joe Manchin on board immediately, or at, you know, that's what I would do personally, um, because that would help us a lot, and then you wouldn't have to do any of the whole um, uh, regulation and crap like that changes. You could do a democratic bill that's taxes, regulating all of that. Now, here's the thing, right? Um, this is good because Democrats are leaning somewhat, leaning because they're not doing this with Georgia and the checks, but they're leaning into that populist thing, into the populism where, you know, the Joe Biden uh, team actually, it was about to say campaign, but the, the new administration, the the team actually said, well, 
hey, this bill that we passed with the $1,400, $1,500 checks, whatever it is, it is bipartisan. Not in the Senate, but not in the Senate, but the uh, the voters want it. It's got a 78% approval rating. So, of course, we're going to go with it because they want it. There you go. Do it that way, Chucky. Do it that way, Pelosi. Do it. That's how you have to do it. Fuck what the Republicans want and go for it. And stop doing this QAnon, Unity, American, Fabric, Soul, and shit, and democracy, and bullshit of Constitution, dumb crap. And go with this. This is what gets you all the votes. The I mean, look at the minimum wage. It's got, what, a 63% approval rating? At 15 bucks an hour, and if you take out the 15 bucks an hour, it goes up to what 70, 80 percent, 75, 80. So, I mean, 78 or 85, I don't know, but it's right there, 80 percent. So, just do that. I mean, look, the the money in politics, 90 percent of the American people want that out. Uh, background checks, 97 percent of the American people want that. Medicare for all, 72 percent of the American people want that. 67 percent of independents, and about 51, 52 percent of Republicans. So, you have the voters on your side. Go for it. And, you know, um, this will improve small businesses, give grants to communities of color, and really it will stop this unnecessary war on drugs. And, you know, people, it's kind of annoying that Joe Biden hasn't done this yet, that, like, he hasn't taken it off a Schedule 1 drug. Like, come on, Joe, at least put it as a Schedule 2. I mean, come on, dude. You can do this yourself. But my friend, as I keep, I keep mentioning this week, Nine Bubble Hawa, good, good friend of the show, great friend of the show, actually, he's actually said it, well, it's better they do it this way because the law is actually codified because another president could just come and take it down. You're right. But what if you say, I gave you multiple checks, and uh, $2,000 checks, and I legalized weed, and I gave you a $15 minimum wage? You'll win. You'll win the election. What more do you want? Seriously, what more do you want? So, look, I mean, <laughs> they're like they're seeing that all these states are falling to legalizing weed because the people want it. It doesn't matter if you're a Republican or a Democrat. My dad's a Republican and he wants it. Although he's still voting for Republicans even though they don't want it. Hilarious. That's how stupid some Republicans are. I said some don't. Oh, my God. <laughs> anyway, they're freaking out right now. I, I can tell. Um, but I mean, like they want it. So just focus on that. Um, so there you go. Democrats seeking to do something good. And look, hopefully they do this. And, um, will Joe Biden sign it? I don't know. I don't. People say that maybe he put it, he probably won't be able to take on his base this much. You know, he, he, he won't be able to withstand the windfall from that. So he kind of has to, the political pressure, but He's already saying F you, not doing Medicare for all, not using his executive orders for good, not not doing anything with his executive orders, not doing anything with his power. And he doesn't care about his base. Otherwise, we wouldn't be in these wars. We wouldn't be doing Wall Street bailouts. We'd have $2,000 checks. So, and a minimum wage and Medicare for all and college for all and canceling student debt and medical debt and all of that. So, does he care about his base? No. But will this pass? Most likely. It's something that's really easy to pass. It's not that controversial. And hey, weed makes a lot of money. Just saying. So, there you go. Uh, Democrats seeking to do something good. Legalizing marijuana nationwide. That would be a great thing for everybody. 